it's sudden, there's no time to think about it. You have to mobilize, you have to get up there and you're making phone calls and telling people you know, that someone is not only sick, that they're dying. And people's last memory of that person is, you know, oh, yeah, he was fine when I saw him. Mark was a, a very friendly, large and life character. He's a great big brother. It was their wedding anniversary, uh, funnily enough. Um, they'd been out with something to eat and had a little bit of sickness afterwards. And it just went from there. He, he had gastric flu, then he had potentially uh, gallstone trouble, then, then he was in hospital, then he was on life support. Sepsis has been described as the, the silent killer, and I think there's a lot of truth in that. It's something that is very common, it's something that claims lives on a daily basis, a frightening number of lives, and it's something that we in healthcare frequently miss. Sepsis is the overwhelming response of the body to severe infection. The body goes into overdrive and really overdoes the defence. It can vary from a mild reaction all the way up to severe sepsis where the body really struggles to cope with that infection uh, and that can become life-threatening. The official cause of death on the death certificate was um, sepsis. Um, my first reaction was, what is it? What is, what is this? And how, how prevalent is it? Sepsis claims more lives every year in the UK than breast cancer and bowel cancer and prostate cancer put together. Sepsis has become the leading cause for direct maternal death and it's not just about the women that die. It's estimated that nine women are very poorly to every woman that dies. So that's a lot of families, a lot of women, a lot of heartache. Sepsis is a killer, but it's a treatable killer. Early recognition and early treatment leads to saving lives. On the World Sepsis Day, everybody should look at the news score and look at the three levels of alert. Three is threat, six is sick, nine is now. At a score of three, there's a threat that there could be really serious illness and that's what we should start screening for sepsis and start the right treatment, which is the sepsis 6. Wales has been a pioneer in how to lead national change on sepsis for several years now. We've seen hospitals across the country assessing their performance with sepsis and taking steps to improve. We're hoping to publicise the great amount of work that the Welsh clinicians have already undertaken. Our aim is to reduce the number of deaths from sepsis by 20% by 2020. 37,000 people a year die of sepsis. Hardly anybody knows about it. World Sepsis Day is about changing that.